How's it going guys? Update 8 for Volta Motorsport has just been announced. Obviously this video is going to cover everything you'll need to know about that update from start to finish. Please like if the video is helpful and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump straight to it. The summary of update 8, what is the theme about? Extreme track toys. We get to celebrate the cars that blur the line between production road cars and high-end race cars. This update will be available to download on Monday, May the 13th at these times here, as you can see, and the in-game events and the new cars and everything will be enabled from Wednesday, May the 15th on these times here. And we've got a list of fixes and changes here. Now this isn't your usual bugs and fixes list. There are actually some game changes and features within this list as well. So we have, they have introduced a vinyl material tool to the livery, livery editor, which can be used to uniformly adjust all vinyl materials on a car from matte to glossy. It includes a reset option as well. So that's a new livery editor feature there in itself. They have added a tyre wear scale option in free play and private multiplayer, so you can adjust the rate at which your tyres wear down. One is the default value. If you go to two, that will double it. And you can actually go from a range of 0.5, so half the tyre wear, up to 10. 10 times the tyre wear. That could make for some interesting challenges and sort of events. They have improved safety ratings in featured multiplayer by increasing the number of previous races the safety rating uses to determine your rating from 10 to 20. And it also makes on-track collisions more impactful against your safety rating. Interesting. That will take effect after your first race in update 8. They have narrowed down the matchmaking algorithm so you should get a closer range of safety ratings with other people compared to your own. So players with an S safety rating should, should not be matched with people who have E or D. And if you're playing with your mates, you will all matchmake against players to the lowest player's safety rating out of your group. The one that I feel like might be quite controversial though is they have removed the KTM Expo GT2 from the Forza GT series and added them to the modern factory race car series in multiplayer. Now I don't fully partake in multiplayer so I'm not entirely clued up on this myself but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a slightly controversial one from what I've seen so far. I'd be interested to know your guys thoughts on that particular change. Is it good or is it bad? So that's the brief look at bugs and fixes and changes that have been sorted. There's going to be a lot more than that, but that's all we've seen so far. So Forza Motorsport now has a partnership with Mobile One to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Now this will include a series of exciting in-game rival events starting this summer. And to start it, Maple Valley has been updated with new track signage featuring some branding. And along with that, numerous fixes and improvements have been made to Maple Valley and Mid-Ohio in Update 8. We can check out the full release notes for a full overview of them that we don't just have yet. So yeah, interested to see what that partnership brings in the future for Forza Motorsport. Let's have a look at the new careers, the new tours and all of the new cars. Track Toys Tour. You can see all of the appropriate information here. I'm not going to bore you with reading at all. You can pause if you want to. It's obviously all about track toys and the most interesting thing at the bottom, if you complete all four series in the Track Toys Tour, you will receive one of the first new cars for this update, the 2019 Porsche number 70 motorsport 935 you've got until june the 27th to complete that so quite a while like five weeks or something not too bad at all now these spotlight cars which are mostly new cars now these are all available for a 30 percent discount and they can be used in the new tour as well that we just spoke about so the first one we've got the 2019 ginetta g40 junior that is the second new car of the month we've got the third new car which is the 2015 porsche cayman gts the third spotlight car is the 2013 Caterham Superlight R500. If I recall correctly, that is not new to the game, so that one is not new. Um, the fourth spotlight car is new, and it's the 2019 Elemental RP1. That makes, so far, four new cars in this update, three of those spotlight cars, and then the Porsche for the reward of the tour. VIP members will also get a 15% discount on the BAC Mono as well. And VIP members get even more exclusive things within this update. Every week for update eight, the VIP members, if you're a VIP member, you'll get a discount on all of these cars here. So if you're wanting one of these cars, wait for that particular week. And if you're a VIP member, you will get it discounted. So that's that. 
On to the open class tour now, which is track cars. Again, following the same theme, you can see all the appropriate information there. The reward for completing the open class tour, you will receive a 2011 BMW 1 Series M Coupe. And I believe that is the fifth and final new car for this motorsport update. Five new cars in this update, if I recall correctly, and that is it. What do we have next? Featured multiplayer. Here are all of the appropriate information. As you can see, it's obviously all in the spotlight cars cars all of which are new apart from the caterham and we've got more more descriptive details there of the dates of each featured multiplayer series i'm sorry i don't really go into full detail about all this all the time i'm here to show you and present to you all of the information that you could need in the most simplest way possible featured rivals obviously a thing again it's still following the same theme where there's a featured rival in each of the new cars or each of the spotlight cars there's also one to celebrate senna's legacy with mclaren as well which is very nice to see i might even take take a join in that one as well so that is pretty much the full update 8 obviously there is no new track within this update which we were told many weeks ago so that's no surprise we are reminded again that we are going to be getting a track for update 9 which will be five weeks away maybe from around when you're watching this video what update 9's track will be we're not entirely sure there's still lots of tracks missing if i was to guess i would put my money on Sabring, prague Bathurst, Road Atlanta, Long Beach, Imola, Monza, maybe even the Top Gear test track. There's obviously a lot more that there could be, but those are the ones that stand out that are still missing from the motorsport game. So update nine, hopefully has them to come. Let's hope for a few more new cars in the next update as well. Now, what we haven't spoken about on a Forza Motorsport video is how there's a certain car that was leaked many months ago. I'm sure you can guess which one it is. It's the McMurtry Spearling. What a fantastic car. If you don't know what it is, Google it. It would be a crazy car to have in a motorsport game. But it was leaked a good few months ago and it didn't end up coming on the date we expected. Every other car on this list was leaked and ended up coming. The McMurtry was not. But what's interesting is just a few weeks ago, it was leaked again. Forza Motorsport posted this image over on their Twitter page, and it was about Update 6. And as you can see, it said that a new car in Update 6 was the McMurtry Spearling, which obviously wasn't true. But what's interesting is this is the second time now we've seen a mention of this car by Turn 10 themselves. First, it was over on Steam. That's where this list came from. And now we've got it from a Twitter post. So it makes you wonder, are we still gonna get that car someday? Maybe it is an update nine. Maybe it's gonna be later on. There's been cars that have been leaked for Forza Horizon 5 for, well, years, and we've never had them. <coughs> Maserati MC20. So I don't know what that's about, but we are praying that that car's gonna come because it would be a fantastic car to have. I've added it to the leaked car list because again, it was leaked and there are some other cars that are marked in black, as you can see. Those are possibilities for update nine as well, but this is all about update eight, so I'm not gonna focus too much on update nine now. As always, I urge you guys to use the Suggestion Sub for a game like Motorsport that's still relatively new, it's still within its first year. The suggestion Sub is very important so they know what to fix and what to give us and what to add. We did a video a couple of weeks ago talking about the top voted features. Obviously the top voted features are what they're going to focus on the most, so go and check out that video. Get yourself over on the Suggestion Sub and do some voting because it's, 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 it's important to contribute towards that. So yeah, update 9 coming in 5 weeks, update 8 is out this week. Hope you guys have enjoyed, I will see you all later.